Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Royal London Theater here in London, England, for our main event of the evening. 15 rounds of heavyweights, and now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. All right, let's go. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. See how he targets that hook? Use your feet. There's more room for defensive error with the taller fighter, I assume, here? Yes, there is, because now all of a sudden you're punching down. You're taught to punch on a straight plane where you don't leave anything open. You punch down, and somebody comes up with a punch. Next thing you know, you're picking yourself up off the canvas. Well-targeted left hand by Lewis. The Lions' knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is the block. The he did it there well. Banking away a body shot with the right hand. Move your head. Oh, no. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Halfway through round number one. And now looking to hang on. <laughs> Commits to the overhand right, and it serves him well. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. You know, when we sat with these guys yesterday in preparation for this broadcast, we asked them, all right, what's your favorite punch? They both had the same response. We like them all. Oh, that's a smart fighter, because you want to be as versatile, as rounded as possible. He needs to improve that accuracy, missed with the headshot. Lions scoring with that right hand. Lewis is banged around by a big uppercut. Keep pushing. Just keep working and this is your fight. Don't get lazy out there, all right? Don't get lazy. You're winning this fight. Come on now, relax. You're taking a beating now. Come on, what's going on out there? We need to win more rounds. We got to do something. They're throwing our game plan out the window. And we still have a chance. Just throw it. Here we go. Round two is underway. A freight train uppercut by the Brown Bomber. on the bad end of a big hook upstairs. Blocks 
the headshot. Keep moving. Keep moving. Accurate shot. Straight right hand comes in. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Able to get rid of that one. Goes up top with a right hand. The Lions combination punching is working well here. There's the hook. Digging in with a left to the gut. Halfway through round number two. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Another huge shot comes in early on in this fight from him. Well, he understood that his opponent, Joe, was a slow starter. He's jumping right on him, taking advantage. A stinging blow by the Lion. Well, he may be in bad shape, but all of a sudden, all of a sudden, he's able to avoid punches and survive. You know, boxing is a funny business. It's Boom. a metaphor for life. You know, sometimes you have somebody outside, and they don't say what they want to say. They have to That's a huge left he just scored with. Put him away! Well off the mark by Lewis. And now he scores well with a straight right. Quick snapping hook and it does damage. Final 10 seconds. Round comes to an end, and it just boggles the mind time and time we sit here ringside and we watch guys who waste time. They're out there just going through the motions, not firing off punches. Hey, if you don't move your hands, you don't throw punches, it's hard to win rounds. All the eyes are on him to start this round. The Lions' legs look just a little shaky, but keep in mind, he barely survived that last round. No, but keep one other thing in mind. I agree with you, Joe, but he's been here before. He's very experienced. If anyone knows how to get out of this, he does. Block that time. It was intended to the head. And he's holding. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. The Lions doing what happens to many who have been up. hurt. Now, he was stunned in this fight earlier, and you can see him almost wishing he could put a protective shell around himself. He's just all about the defense right now. Yeah, well, right now it's got to be all about him trying to be Tom Cruise. He's got to be an actor. He's got to look for an Academy Award and stop doing that. If we can see that, his opponent can see that. He has to count his opponent, not let him know that this is what he's feeling. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Lewis is rocked by a huge hook to the head. Keep moving. 
Keep moving. Hits him in the mug with the right. Lewis is on the bad end of a flush. Solid hook. Nice. Away of that hook to the head. Oh, that had a hurt. Not able to land the headshot. The Brown Bombers giving his opponent headaches here. Now he's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. You know, we're early in this fight, but the Lions' energy may come into question soon. He's throwing a lot of punches, Teddy. Yeah, and his mental energy, too. I'm wondering if he's getting a little discouraged that his opponent is not showing a lot of effect from all those shots. And round three comes to an end. Keep it up. Just keep doing what you're doing. There you go. Don't waste your punches out there. Be smart or you're going to tie yourself out. You gotta land a big punch now, champ. No doubt about it. You're losing this fight. You need to throw and land. Round number four underway. A chance to look at Teddy's scorecard. Lewis is up two rounds to one. Teddy hasn't necessarily distinguished himself in any one area other than he's been a little more active. Yeah, he has been more active. The only thing that I worry about as a trainer, I would be concerned he has to work harder than the other guy to get things done. Does that hurt him down the road? Keep working the body. Come on, baby. Able to dismiss it. He's tired. Get after him. The Lions coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. A headshot block. Head and body. Get out of the way from those punches. Move your head. Gets rid of that body shot. Go, go. Relax. Come on now, relax. Deep breath. Double up on your punches. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Go, go. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. That's a miss right there by Lewis. Head movement, head movement. Good defense just covering up down low. movement to get away from those punches went to the body there but unable to connect oh you're doing great fourth round now with its last 10 seconds the lion's blocking ability is doing well for him there
this round comes to an end, and you can just see that he doesn't have much to him, not much energy there. I mean, how does a trainer fix that? Well, first of all, you said a key word there. You said you can just see. Well, his opponent can see it, so he's not going to slow down. His opponent now is going to come out even faster. So if you're the trainer, the first thing you say is, hey, take a deep breath, get yourself together. Don't let this guy know you're tired. You're not tired. You we need to see the combinations. Round number five has arrived. And he just holds on there. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Come on, baby. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by Lewis. Plus shot lands after blocking away his opponent's effort. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Finish with the hook. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. A minute and, and, and a half to go. Off target with that hook. Back and forth they go, each man getting the best of it. Blocks that punch. Oh, he just missed. Lions doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You got to block those punches away. A good block. Yeah, good work. Coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. Jump on him. Nice. And that's the end of round five. That is it. That's it. I need another round like that. Just like that, all right? Doing good. Just keep it up. Don't let him breathe. He's hurt. Get him in this round. I need you to cut this guy off. Start moving your hands. One, two, threes. One, two, threes. All right, come on. Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. Very nice, smart counterpunch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by the Lion. Lewis is throwing lots of punches, and not many are landing. But what's that old saying? Hey, you put enough out there, something's going to stick. Well, at least he's controlling the rhythm. He's keeping control of the pace right now. And at least when you're throwing your opponent, for the most part, he's being handcuffed a little bit.
nothing there on the punch by Lewis. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Now hugging on the inside. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punching. Well, the old timers used to say when you're calm in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Like now that, he ties like up that. there. <laughs> the lion stumbled back. Oh, and there you go. What a hook to the body. And he is down and in bad shape. able to get up to his feet after that knockdown but Teddy it's what's ahead that's the problem yeah we're getting a peek right now into his heart into his soul this round all right now move he's coming in swing he thinks you're still hurt he's gonna look to finish you off That's it. You heard him. Keep on him. The Lions gets a chance at redemption here with a fresh round. But, Teddy, I'm always concerned as to how a fighter looks after he's been knocked down in the last round. Well, it depends how much experience he has. And he has enough experience to handle this, to kind of shake it off, get himself together, and move forward. That was a miss by Lewis. Keep working the jet. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Watch that punch. One, two, one, two. Halfway through the seventh round. He just missed that shot up top. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Locks that belt line well. What a trap he just set, and he lands a nice counter punch. Yeah, that's the old cast with a ghost trick there. You know, you're there one time, you give him a little shade, you know, a little shadow, and then he throws at you, you pull back, bang, come right back with your own. Still not 
moving enough. Come on now, move, move. Blocks that punch. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep the jab pumping and throw the lead right hand, all right? You are winning this fight. He's almost done. You had him that round. You're in control. Next round, let's keep busy, all right? You just can't move around. You gotta move with your hands in there. Let them things go. The Lions down on your scorecard, Teddy, but even more problematic than that is just look at him. As we start this eighth round, you see, oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Boy, he was hurt, but now he's gathered himself a bit. Keeps his hands up defensively, nice protecting nice the head. Watch the hook. Watch the hook. Come on. Move your head. Keep working the body. Missed the body shot. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. seconds to go halfway through round eight Lewis is really doing a fine job here Teddy and I know everybody falls in love with the clean effective punching but you can make an argument that he's controlling this fight right now thanks to his head movement yeah you know it makes me think about that legendary story about the old great Willie Pep the will of the wisp there was a legend that he actually won a round without throwing a punch just by making his opponent miss just by ring generalship Takes one, but gives one. Good work by the Lion. Back to the body. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. Let's go. <laughs> Lewis's power punching tonight has been on the mark throughout. You almost wonder if his opponent can take any more. Yeah, well, you wonder if his opponent gets insulted if you miss him. I mean, move your head. Just, just, just keep it up. Just keep it up. That's it now, all right? It's, it's nice work out there. Just keep fighting smart. Keep busy. Don't take a break with this guy. You hear me? Listen. They start up again. Back to action here with another round. 
But who knows how much longer it'll last. This has been a completely one-sided fight. He missed with that headshot. Good looking counter punch. Good way to protect the midsection. Looking good. Good look at right hand after he got hit. Hit the body. <laughs> wow, is he defensively sound? Halfway through the ninth round. The Lions defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. <laughs> Not an accurate hook at all. He's tight. He's tight. <laughs> Blocks away that head shot. that punch intended for the head. Unable to score with the hook. Last 10 seconds of the ninth round. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. Teddy, making predictions in boxing is often a dangerous task, but I'll make one right here that seems pretty obvious to me as we come to the end of that round here. This fight is going to be a brutal display as long as it lasts. It's kind of like going and watching that home run contest. Nobody's trying to hit singles or doubles. You know they're all going for the fences. You are losing this fight. I need you to take some chances now. You got to take some chances. And now they start round number 10. The Lions' last round, Teddy, could be a turning point on a round. I mean, we start this round right here, and you do have the sense, even though I think he's down on the scorecards, you do have the sense that he's headed in the right direction. Well, good things can start, you know, one step at a time. Well, he took that first step. Now he's got to take the second step and put two good rounds in a row together. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. Keep it up. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Double up on your punches. Hey, you got some of that too. Let's go. <laughs> A 
locks it away. And we've reached the halfway point of round 10. Block there. Counting down towards the end of the 10th round. 10 seconds to go. In and, out. In and, out. and round 10 comes to an end. And hurt this guy. You are not doing enough to win this fight, okay? Let those hands go. Come on, now. Let's get busy in there. Kale's out there, right? Just, just keep boxing smart. Okay, you're doing well. Let's get him some water. He's got the lead. He doesn't have much else. He's running out of steam here at the beginning of round number 11. Yeah, right now he needs to Let's find a way to slow the pace down. Now, look, normally I would never say do anything that's underhanded, you know, not above board, but maybe a little accidentally on purpose, low blow, <laughs> just to slow things down a little bit. I get some time there? Yeah, he needs it. Hey, 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 Lewis's hey, punch hey, hey, didn't come, come on, close. Able to dismiss that body shot. Swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counter punch. And what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets caught. Lewis is showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Halfway through this 11th round. <laughs> and now he's acting like a fighter. Coming moving. back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Brown Bombers just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Oh, you're doing great. Lewis is doing something that not everybody appreciates, but he is making his defense a major factor in this fight. Yeah, well, a lot of times people, you know, they only get it done on one end. What I mean about that is, you know, offensively, they use their jab, they use aggression to set up the offense, but he uses defense to set up the offense. He, he has a double-edged sword. <laughs> 
last 10 seconds of this 11th round. I want another round like that. This is your... Do you want this fight? You want this fight? Listen to me. Do you want this fight? You got to stay... round number 12. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Lewis. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Defensive skill. And coming upon the halfway mark of this nice three minute work. round, nice the Lions got to do more than this. I mean, you can't just sit there stationary and expect the night to go your way. This fight is going opposite of how he needs it to go right now. Well, maybe it's not, Joe. Maybe he's given up already. You know, it's all about what's going on in the mind of a fighter. Two, Maybe one, he's given in, and this is his way, believe it or not, of getting the ref to stop this fight. Accurate uppercut after taking a shot of his own. Right back with the left hand. Keep moving, keep moving. Jab. Pop the jab. Use the jab. Use the jab. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Final 10 seconds in this, the 12th and final round. Your head. The Lions' approach to these remaining rounds is going to be critical. I believe, I think you do, that he's trailing on the scorecards, but I also think that he's capable of turning things around. Well, right now it's so close, it's going to come down to the inside, I believe. Whoever does not make those silent agreements, doesn't sign their name to the contract. You know, you get a little tired, it gets a little tough. You put your hands behind the guy, you hope the guy grabs and he goes along with it. Whoever doesn't go along with that, whoever brings their hands back and throws those punches, those two, those three, those four extra punches, they're gonna win the fight. Here we go with round number 13. Carries that punch away. Keep working, bud. 
able to cover up that gut. That's okay, that's okay. Let it go, let it go. It's all right, keep moving, Misses his opponent's headshot. Keep working. Halfway the through good, this round. Good. Come on, kid. Focus now. I need you to focus. <sighs> Jump on him. Nice. Keep moving, keep moving. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Lewis is swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Good job protecting himself. Don't let him get to you, kid. Hitting his mark the there, ring. going upstairs. The ring. Watch that. <laughs> Ten clicks of the talk. <laughs> Good he clean shot, down. returning fire. Well done by the Lions. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. The Lions putting forth an effort, but he's not being effective in that regard. No, he's not. He's not landing when he needs to land. And it kind of reminds he's a banger, too. He can punch a little. It reminds me of an old saying that a trainer once told me. It doesn't mean anything to have a big punch. It's kind of like having a military weapon, a bomb. What good is it if you don't have a missile to get it to the target? Right now, he needs a missile to get that punch. He needs to set it up, and he's not doing that. More than one punch out there, okay? The start to the 14th round. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Lions putting forth a game plan of being a volume puncher. But, Teddy, he's not landing a lot of these punches. What kind of effect can that have on this fight? Well, he can get frustrated a little bit, and, hey, he might not win the fight. He can have that kind of effect. Is that effective enough? To improve that accuracy, missed with the headshot. Hey, you gotta see that coming. Now let's go. <laughs> Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Nice work, nice work. Doing great. <laughs> How about a 
return to sender with the left hand. He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Lewis. Able to show you his blocking ability. You're not focusing. You're not focusing. Yeah! Ten seconds remaining in this round. And this round comes to an end. Lewis is in position right now to really bring home a good victory. He's up on the punch stats. He's up on your scorecard. This is his fight. Yeah, we just hope that the judges, and you never know that. That's one thing that sometimes can really disappoint you in this business. You hope the judges see it that way because I can't see it any other way. Okay, we got this one. Last round, and it's yours, okay? So keep your distance. Keep your hands up. You got that? Okay, good. Take a deep breath. In the Come on. No need to get excited. We came to win. It is the final round. Here they go. Good job staying away from the danger there. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Lewis's punch is far off the target. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. There you go. Very nice job landing that counter punch, getting away from one that was coming at him by Lewis. It's okay, let's go. The Brown Bombers doing well here with that two punch combination. Lions defense is paying off now. 90 seconds to go in the fight. Really frustrating his opponent now. The Brown Bombers so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't. And it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, He's worried he's going to leave an opening. A minute to go in the fight. Watch the hook. Watch the hook. Come on. Go Looking good. Uppercut. Uppercut is wide open. Uppercut, baby. Come on. Denies his opponent. Comes with the overhand right. to go in this the final round not getting it done with that straight right hand this was an easy fight to score from start to finish after that effort well you never know in this sport with the scoring but this is one yeah no 
We're going to know in moments here as we send it up to the ring. This was a sure and steady effort by Lewis tonight. And it earns him a unanimous decision win. Teddy, your scorecard reflects that as well. Yeah, I don't think it was ever a question of who was going to win. It was how. Was it going to be knockout or unanimous decision? We got it the right way. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us ringside.